Hello Taurus, welcome to your bonus love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective love message for your sign, so please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. What do we have for you? Taurus, you have someone here who you might have met this person on the internet or some on social media. Okay, or internet plays a significant role when it comes to communication between the two of you. For some of you, um, this is someone who might be working uh, on social media or it's like they are so social media personality. Maybe they are content creator or they have, uh, I don't know, <laughs> how can I say it? Like a work uh, that... Uh, it's hugely connected with the internet, okay? Let's say it that way. Um, when it comes to your energy, Taurus, we have a runner. I feel this person can very easily trigger you. There is something that is triggering you, but what I am getting here that you see this, this individual as someone who can be a runner, who, um, when the situation is quite complex, they have those tendencies to run away. They don't want to face any obstacles or step backs that might have appear uh, along the way. Mutual energy we have, assuming the worst. <sighs> yeah, I feel that um, there is something here, Taurus, about you. I feel that you kind of see this person and when you sit back, you feel like, I don't know if this person really wants to give us a chance because there is something here about them being quite pessimistic. I feel this is someone who's operating from their fears and they are projecting those insecurities on this connection. And that's why you might be feeling like, I don't know if I have much faith with regards to this connection, but at the same time, I feel like, well, we'll see, time will tell, you know, and yes, this person might be someone who uh, who is quite pessimistic just 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 by default but in general you know overall energy hidden on seeing things out of sight for some of you it might be a case that at the moment there is no contact situation it's like this person you haven't seen this person online oh it's like they have uh, gone silent on you or something like this, but I feel that you kind of see this person as someone who's hiding their emotions. They're hiding a lot. And um, it's not an easy thing. It's just not easy in general. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Taurus. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Taurus and this connection, please? the moon same energy five of pentacles okay queen of pentacles the tower Queen of Wands and King of Wands, Page of Wands, Ten of Cups and Page of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Taurus, when I look at this energy with the moon and five of pentacles, for me, this is someone who is hiding the fact that they might be codependent, who might, this person might have abandonment issues, but next to this queen of pentacles, which is a very abundant energy, it, this is pre-empress energy, I am getting someone who feels that they don't have much to offer. They are coming here from the place of luck, lacking something, you know, and... Um, <laughs> And 
And because of that, I feel this person created a tower moment in this connection, Taurus. Mm -hmm. For some of you, Taurus, this is someone who went through uh, something uh, quite difficult during their childhood. And uh, because we have like a couple here, it might be their parents and they went through divorce, right? And this person has this abandonment issues. They are very codependent with the five of pentacles. For some of you, this is also someone who might have metaphorically saying mommy issues. They want people to care for them. Queen of Pentacles is very caring, very nurturing energy. And that might be a case that this person wants someone who just, you know, contribute everything and uh, <laughs> kind of to the point of, you know, uh, sacrificing all this stuff and focusing only on them because they need care, which is quite unrealistic because everybody has their own things, right, to focus on as well. But I'm getting someone who can play very easily a victim card. Uh, it's like, oh, you know, because of this, this and that. I, I feel because of that attitude, this person caused the tower moment. Something here happened, was unexpected, out of the blue, and it brought change. Quite difficult change. The thing is that with the Queen of Wands and King of Wands, I feel that there is a huge attraction between the two of you very very strong chemistry you share with this person and I feel that this individual really is very drawn to you you know they're very passionate about this connection attraction is huge and um, and as an overall energy with the page of wands ten of cups and page of cups this is someone who actually it's planning to confess their true feelings for you the thing with the ten of cups is that this person wants to be with you that's a messenger and that it's kind of confession of love you know so i feel taurus that this is this person has something to tell you you've been very caring towards them taurus very nurturing very understanding and this is someone who knows that they haven't experienced that before from their previous partners that's why they know that you bring a lot to the table. And that's why this is someone here who is coming with this energy of, conf of confessing their love for you or expressing their true intentions. Because they, they created a tower moment. This person had, had a long, deep think about this. They've realized that it was a mistake and now they will try to repair it. very interesting Taurus you might be dealing with Scorpio we have Aries Pisces Cancerian energy with this with the moon also you might be dealing Taurus with the fire sign so we have Sagittarius Aries Leo okay let's see Taurus your energy could you please show me Taurus's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection six of wands Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Empress, Eight of Wands, and the Lovers. Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles with the Chariot. Whatever, you know, whatever, what I, okay. <laughs> One first things first. I feel that you want to really, really be supportive towards this individual. And there is something here about you wanting to help them. Maybe overcome something from the past. I feel that in general, you ha obviously have a heart on your right uh, side, if I can say it that way. You have a right on the right place, <laughs> right? That kind of energy. I feel that you are very, very sweet, very caring. And uh, whatever this person is coming from, I feel that you want to kind of change their perspective. 
Yeah, I feel that you are coming here from the place regarding this individual. It's like this person is worrying too much. But there are moments I feel that because they're projecting those insecurities on this connection, you might be, again, in the brackets, catching that sort of kind of vibe, energy. And it wouldn't surprise me, Taurus, if, for instance, recently you found yourself in a position of actually overthinking, overanalyzing and losing sleep over this connection. Because it's an energy that this person is projecting on this connection. Six of Wands suggests here that I feel that you want to give them attention. I feel that you are a very good listener. Three of Pentacles, yeah, with the with the with the <laughs> the Empress and Eight of Wands with the Lovers. I feel that you see huge potential when it comes to this connection. You know and. Yeah. I feel that you want to be with this person, Taurus. You really do. And that's fair enough. You know, eight of wands to the lovers. I feel that you have very strong feelings for this person. You want them to take action. There is a certain amount of, again, attraction and passion from your side. Three of Pentacles. I feel that you see this person as someone who, who can be a good team player and there is a potential for them to be a great partner. Empress is all about progress, expansion, growth, you know. And I feel that you, you would like this connection to blossom into something really beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. But yes, with the Nine of Swords, I'm getting here that you might see this person as someone who has those tendencies of self-sabotage, um, who assuming the worst or who is not very optimistic, they can get very easily triggered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups with the Two of Pentacles and the Chariot. I feel that you want this connection. Maybe you have moments when, you know, sometimes you might be feeling like, oh, I don't know. Maybe you're hesitant, which is only, you know, only normal. But with the Ace of Cups, I feel that you see this person who so, as someone who can give you happiness and fulfillment in love. I feel that in general, with the Chariot, you are pretty much convinced that you want this. But of course, you know, there might be days when you feel like, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I should think about it long, you know, longer. Maybe I should just dedicate more time to this in order to to kind of make, in order to be sure to make a final decision if I truly want this or not. Yeah, it's only human. Taurus, you might be dealing with Gemini. We have your energy, Taurus, so you might be dealing with another Taurus. We have Cancerian energy with the chariot. Um, Libra, Virgo, Gemini. Okay, so let's see, Taurus. Let's see your outcome. Could you please show me the outcome? We have the chariot. They're trying to heal from something. Ten of Wands. Three of Cups. And the Emperor, mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, okay, Ace of Swords, oh my gosh, and the Two of Cups, Two of Cups, yes. No, guys, too much. Too many. <laughs> with the Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords and Page of Wands, the High Priestess, Five of Wands and the Sun as an overall energy, <coughs> excuse me, for this reading. Uh, the, the High Priestess 
with the page of wands, not page of wands, with the five of wands, excuse me, and the sun. I feel that as an overall energy, I feel that at the moment there is a certain amount of frustration represented by the five of wands uh, with the fact that high priestess, you might feel that this person is, you know, something hiding. For some of you, you might be frustrated that there is no contact situation. And if there is no contact situation, the sun suggests that all those issues will be resolved in a good way, in a very, very positive way, and you will experience happiness and joy. So you have nothing to worry about. That's what they're suggesting. This person, Taurus, is coming with the energy of the chariot, ten of wands, three of cups, and the emperor. Uh, if things are not particularly great between the two of you, or if it, indeed there is no contact situation, this person is going to reach out to you because it's getting too much. It's the fact that they might not be in touch with you. It's tiring, draining, and exhausting for them. And they do want to approach you with the chariot in order with the three of cups to be happy again, to experience happiness, joy, fulfillment. Mm -hmm. This is also a card of reconciliation, you know, reunion. And that's what they want with the emperor. We have the empress and the emperor. So you do share a very strong connection with this person. Indeed. Um, this is someone who wants to like bring more stability to the situation big time i i'm getting someone who doesn't want to argue or who doesn't want to who doesn't want to act that way mm -hmm. mutual energy we have queen of cups ace of swords and two of cups yeah i see communication communication which is coming from the place of love with the queen of cups and two people coming together two of cups love between two people this is also a promise of love uh, but in general i see both of you making amends essentially taurus then we have ten of cups ace of pentacles three of swords and page of wands i feel that you know they are talking here more about communication. Um, this page of wands suggests, yes, that there will be communication. And I feel that you will, exp you will express here, Taurus, that you really see potential when it comes to this connection, but you don't want... It's like, I feel that it's not... Oh, gosh, how can I word it? It's like, I feel that you will just express... You don't want to to stress out or to stressing out about this connection you don't want your heart to be broken i feel that you will uh, express your concerns in a sense I'm, I'm hearing someone saying listen i don't want to invest in a connection when i feel that this is just one-sided and at some point i will end up with the broken heart because at the end of the day i see us i see this connection as, as something that has huge potential. We can be happy. We, Ten of Cups is a happily ever after card. Relationship or connection based on mutual understanding and love. And I feel this is what you want, but also you want to talk about this. You want to make this person aware that you do want to invest in this, but they need to give you some sort of form of reassurance that, you know, uh, I'm getting all for nothing that that that's not what is going to happen you know and i feel you will have an opportunity to address this but this person will 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 approach you because they want to be happy again and you make them very happy taurus you might be dealing let's see you might be dealing we have again aries cancerian energy with the chariot pisces uh, also, we have uh, Leo. <laughs> Taurus, I will leave it here. Um, I wanted to say something. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Taurus, uh, if I haven't mentioned your person sign of Zodiac, but you resonate with this message that you're reading, and cross watches, the roles can be reversed. Taurus, I will leave it here. <laughs> thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. 
And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.